What's going on lads? What's the crack? Welcome back to the channel. It's absolutely freezing here, man. And I don't want to turn on the heating, so I have the hat on indoors and it's an early one. So we're ready to rock and roll with a European Club Championship Player of the Week review. You don't need training guides on these, right? And you can also get uh, one of these guys that is going to have super sub, which is going to be Paz. You've got Foden, who's got outside curler. And of course, you have Cancelo as well from Barcelona. These are 300 coins you can spin three times, or there are 100 coins you can spin three times for 300 coins in total. And of course, we're going to have a full look at the players here now, right? So the big pick of this pack, lads, is Tommy Yasu, okay? Now, I'm just going to hide my face cam here for a second. Um, you do have Paz, who we're going to start with as a whole player. And as you can see here, you can't train these players, right? You can't give them any training. You can't retrain them. You can't reset their player progression. You literally, what you see is what you get, lads, right? This guy has got long range shooting, one touch pass, true pass, and super sub and dipping shot. It's a very strong card for a whole player. If you do get him in your pursuit of other cards, I wouldn't be spinning, you know, for this card, right? I would probably be spinning for the likes of Foden, Cancelo, Hermosa, Goretzka, or Tommy Yashu. I would probably spin for Goretzka, to be honest with you, because he's one of my favorite players. He's down as a center back here, and I'd like to try him out for... I suppose just reasons, man, because I did like him as one of my favorite cards, right? But I would say that Joe Mario as a left midfielder is also a good, a good, a good player to get. Roman flank, not the fastest player. I think where the game is gone at the moment, the current meta for the game is is all about kind of being able to get back on counter attacks. That's what it's all about. When you rinse, when you rinse and repeat with the ball, whether you lose the ball or get you know caught in possession, it's all about getting back and getting up and down the pitch. So his balance and stamina are a bit of a concern when he's on the ball and off the ball there. So he's not the greatest card. As I said, you're probably only going to want to spin for these three top boys or maybe even these two included in that. Uh, Ziyech is not a bad player. Ziyech is not... Ziyech? Ziyech. Ziyech is not a bad player either. Again, there's a lot of cards like this that you can get for GP in the, in the game. I definitely wouldn't be spinning, right, for these six players unless you really, really want them. Pope... Uh, Isaacson, Pepe, Jean Mario, Zayek, Zayech, I can't even pronounce his name today, I don't know, I'm, I'm spazzing out, Paz there as well, and then I would say that Hermosa, Jao Kinsella, Foden, or Tommy Ashu, or Goretzka, depending on where you want to go with the cards, they're pretty decent, but I wouldn't say that I'd be spinning for anybody but Tommy Ashu or Foden if you don't have those cards already, right? It's the same when this guy here is a, as a left winger or a right winger, depending on where you play him, you can't, he can't play left wing. 95 acceleration is pretty decent, but his balance is quite poor. 87 dribble and tight possession is quite poor as well for a card at this stage in the game. Again, everything goes out the window if you've got no good players. If you have, if this guy is going to be one of your best wingers, then obviously it pays to get him uh, if you want to go down that route. Pepe is the same, doesn't have enough acceleration or physical contact for that goal poaching position. Finishing is high, but tight possession and balance are very, very low. So again, he's a bust. And then, of course, we do have Pope in goals. I never recommend goalkeepers, but this guy is pretty solid. With the goal, with the manager boost, which is now fixed, you are going to have a giant in goals, and he's going to have 90 awareness, 92 reflexes, and 92 reach. But the parrying and the catching doesn't really make a difference. So he's a solid card if you do get him. To be honest, he's not a bad option at all. Uh, Hermosa is very, very solid as a destroyer. Uh, Jimenez you can get for free on the nominating contract. I already have a video review out on that and a training guide for him. He's way better than what you get here. But again, Hermosa, Hermoso is a really, really solid card if you do spin for him. Look, I'll keep repeating it, right, for those in the back, right? This is only worth spinning for if you want a specific player. Tommy Yashu is definitely worth spinning for. It's not the best version of him, but you are going to have a monster center back, right? He plays, he's down as a right back, but he's going to be for a center back. Don't mind about his attack and fullback play style. That's really, really not a concern with this card. He's got everything that you could possibly want to set blocker. You can't throw blocker on him, so he's nowhere near as good as the big time card that I have, but he is still very solid, one of the best center backs that you'll ever have in the game. Goretzka is like a slower version of him. He's going to be solid as well. He's more of a box-to-box -box kind of masquerading as a build-up center back. He's inconsistent form. He doesn't have blocker. I wouldn't spin for Goretzka unless he's like one of your favorite players like he was for me. Um, and as I said, Foden and Cancelo are probably the two picks, right? So I'll keep this video very short and sweet. Is this pack worth spinning? I would probably say no if you've played long, played the game longer than a month. You'll probably have better cards than this. Foden is an interesting one as a box-to-box. -box. I think he's probably wasted because of his, uh, his lack of physical contact. 
His card is very, very strong. You can play him as an AMF, but he's down as a box-to-box, so he's not as a whole player, a creative playmaker. He's not the best card that they've had, but he does have double touch, but he doesn't have one, or he does have one touch pass. He doesn't have soul control, so he's not going to be as silky as other cards um, in his kind of range I, I would say right and then Cancelo obviously is going to be one of the best right backs but I think he's better suited as a 3-5-2 wing back okay so for me I would still say if you haven't picked up on this other player of the week here I would say that there's probably a better selection in this um if you wanted to go for that obviously we spun and we got Endo Caldwell is pretty decent Borella is pretty decent Odegaard and Felix are pretty decent I would also say that Gordon is worth the shout this is a disappointing enough European club championship that if you did open the three of these here and you don't get one of the top three boys I would say that the rest of them are pretty just kind of like fodder um whereas in this one you have a better chance of getting more so let me know what you guys think apologies my throat is a little bit sore we've been streaming a lot lately so um let me know what you guys take that's think that's just a quick european club championship player of the week review you can't do any training on them or re reset the progression or anything like that but let me know if you spun or skipped on that one and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already i will catch you in the next one peace